All right, so we are live. We're on the leadership call every Monday morning at this time, depending on what time zone you're in. Well, it's 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time here. My name is Tom, and I'm with my beautiful- Hi, I'm Kim. Bride Kim. And uh, let's go ahead and get rocking and rolling. Our goal is to keep this uh, as tight as we possibly can, but we wanna make sure that you guys prepare yourself and position yourself to win big yes. this week. So let's go ahead and uh, why don't you start it off beautiful with what's happening. Yes, and, we and I'm gonna mute. Great idea, thank you. Go ahead. Yay, that gets up. We have so many people joining us or growing so fast. So if this is your first call, if you're brand new, we wanna welcome you to Savvy. Um, it's a very exciting time to be a part of this company and the momentum that's happening right now. And um, we do every Monday, this is more of our leadership retreat, or leadership retreat, our leadership call. And we want, because of that reason, we wanna talk about the leadership retreat and let you know that even if you're brand new, you can absolutely qualify to go. Yeah. Okay, and, and if you know about it, but you don't know the specifics, we're gonna run through exactly what to do to get yourself there and go with some of your best friends, get your team. All of us can have our team members there. This is gonna be, and Lord willing, if we're able to travel. <laughs> yeah, but even if, even if we're not, they'll postpone it a month later, right. a month after that. So, so run Push. for it, yes. run for it, even if we have to delay it, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. So our leadership retreat is for leader rank and above. So to qualify for the leader rank, it's two people and 2,500 in volume. Two people, 2,500 in volume, super doable. And with that, you actually are invited to come. But if you keep going and you keep, there's some perks that if you keep personally enrolling, you can actually qualify for a lot more. So I'm gonna run through that. By the way, the qualification period ends this month, March 3rd, April 30th. It's April. April 30th is a cutoff. So we, gotta get going. we have 10 days to crush it out. So that's why we wanna really talk about this. Rally your team members and really set your goal if you're brand new, this is what you must hit before month end. So um, if you go above and beyond leader rank and you have five more personal enrollments, five more personal enrollments, your ticket is paid for. So it's $99 to attend. But if you have five, you hit leader rank and you're, you have five more personal enrollments, that's covered. Okay, so you have a free trip there five additional enrollments above and beyond that. Now this is in your team level one and two, right? So if you have five more additional enrollments, level one wow. and two, you'll get a shared hotel room. Okay, so a room for two. Yeah. Add five more enrollments onto that. This is again, level one and two. So this is your team, airfare or private hotel room, your choice. Okay, so if you're not in Utah, this is in Utah, by the way, then it's gonna be a beautiful resort up in the mountains yes yes so again level one and two five more enrollments that's a total of 15 enrollments you're you have airfare covered or private hotel room five additional so we're up to 20 now and you're um again they give you a choice of airfare or maybe you got one covered but you want the other one covered and then the top enrollments the top enrollments over the qualification period are also invited to a private dinner with the Savvy Founders and then a morning spa day with the VP of Sales. How many enrollments? And Where you're going to get wine and dined. So it's just the top. We don't know. Just the top. Oh, how many? Yeah. How many? What's the top mean? Like three or five or 10? It doesn't say. Okay, we'll find that out. I'll find out. find out. And where do they find all this information at? This is in Savvy Printer Rising, our team group under Unit 7. All of this is laid out. I know I went through it real fast, but it's all there. Yeah. So make sure you're sharing this with your team. Make sure you know exactly what you need to do to hit it, to get there, to save money. Um, and really, our events, we've had an incredible um, trip to Puerto Vallarta. One of the best experiences, you guys, we have such an incredible community and culture. And so you want to get around people because the mastermind that happens at these events is insane. It will definitely take you to the next level above and beyond everything cor corporate's going to be doing. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's next? What's next is we want to talk about end of month. We want to do a vote. Yeah. Uh, um, so what we want to do, we want to know. How would you like to be accountable to the leaders within Savvy? Kim and I, at the, you know, for sure, but all the other leaders and all of us keeping each other accountable. I want to know 
if you would like to be an account, a, accountability program between now and the end of the a month to be able to hit the leadership uh, promotion that we have going on, type in yes or me, right? If you would like that, Shannon Thomas, oh of course. Gosh. Melanie, you're killing it, I heard. Congratulations. Congratulations. Leslie so Dahlbach's good. killing it. Barbara, of course. Okay, okay, so I think that's a yes. Again, if you're new, we did this last month. At the end of the month, we all of us were held accountable. We posted in right. our team group. And people kicked booty, I have to say. People were running yeah. for ranks. And as we were popping them, we were all celebrating. It was just a bunch, such a fun time. All so. right, so we're going to do it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a quick video today in Savvypreneur Rising to go over the, the outlines. And if anybody has any leaders like Amy White or any of the leaders out there, Molly Dahlback, if you're out here, um, please, if you have any feedback or, or thoughts on that, please let us know today. Either voice message us, anybody in the leader group, voice message if you have any specifics that you think would really really help the newer people and then of course the people that really want to really want to crush it and do some bigger numbers okay because we have different specters of the people yes and and each rank advancement is so important and so important to celebrate whether you just move to advanced rep or leader you know senior leader whatever yeah. it is everyone is so important and we celebrate that we celebrate you well we, we do celebrate it but probably need to focus on it even more. There's been so many rank advancements over the last five months. It's, it's been kind of hard to keep up, to be honest, which is kind of a blessing, but also we want to recognize everybody as yes. much as we can. So we're, we're actually hiring someone specifically to help us with all the rank advancements and different things that we're doing. So we're growing here behind the scenes to help support. And do, we got a video guy now and someone in the Philippines to help us with some other things. So we're, we're, we're moving and shaking behind the scenes to help make sure we don't let anybody fall through the cracks when it comes to amazing recognition. So yes. It's so important. I do want to recognize two people though. Yes. Two people I have to because um, they are, they just hit two huge ranks and that is advanced executive, 50,000 in volume. So I want to congratulate Molly Dahlbeck for hitting that amazing Woo -woo! rank, her and her team. Advanced executive, again, that's 50,000 in volume, which is 100,000 in sales. Amazing. Yes. Um, and she's only been with us. I think she's going on a month. Two. two uh, just over two months. Yes. And then the next one is Courtney Nine. I don't know if she's on here, but I know her incredible, amazing leader, Amy, is. Amy Nine as well just hit advanced. Courtney Nine. Courtney Nine, advanced executive. And she has been with us just under 90 days, I believe. Yeah. So, and again, right working with Amy so. on Amy's team and so many amazing leaders. So good. So many amazing leaders over yes. there as well. The fastest growing group in the, in the company. Her and, uh, her, uh, neck and neck, Molly. Actually, Amy's number one right now. Amy's group is number one, and Courtney's and Molly's right there. Just a mm -hmm. few, few uh, volumes really close. Yes. Neck and neck right now. Massive number one and two in the entire company right now. Growth. Congratulations. All right, you ready to get rocking, baby? Yes. All right. So here's what we're gonna do today. Okay, we're gonna start. If you have ten thousand in volume and above, because this is a leadership. We were primarily gonna only do this for leaders but we don't know who all the leaders are because there's so many people that are amazing leaders that are up and coming so fast. So we've opened it up to everybody as a leadership training every Monday morning for now, okay? Um, but with that said, I do wanna go to the people that have $10,000 in volume and above first, and then we'll open it up for everybody. So anybody that's done 10,000 in volume above, what is the number one question that you're getting on your team over and over that maybe Kim and I can come from a different angle, or if you have a personal question, let's do a coaching question around the board right now. And please write down, this is your chance, because I promise you whatever you're gonna ask when it comes to, and let me be clear, the questions that we're looking for, it's not on sizing, it's not on where they ship the products from, it's, not, it's, it's more leadership on growth and, and business building. And let's lean more towards business building We'll have a lot of training on retailing and customer acquisition as well. But when it comes to growth and duplication and prospecting and business building, let's focus that leadership content or training on that today. Um, and then if, again, if you're doing 10,000 in volume, maybe we could start with some of the leaders that have questions that are, you either have or are coming up with your team over and over and over so that good. maybe we can help you out with today. So good. So with that said, make sure you type it in the chat, but preferably if you can just pop off your, click your mute off unmute and then go ahead and ask your questions and i always love to see who's first who's going to step up first this is where we need some music 
We need to play some music. Okay, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so the question is, is what is the number one thing? Well, it could be number two, two. Or, or something that you or your team members, it's coming up a lot, um, and something that we can help you maybe work through. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll go. Right. So I've been in for refresher right at 48 hours. Been sending out some information. Um, I think I need for my organization because I'm super, super busy in real estate and two other businesses and kids and family that I need a line that says do this, then this, then this, because I don't want to recreate the will. You guys have already done it and done it well. Yeah. So the links to what we send out people and when and why great question a go-to sheet simple yeah nice. hey, and by the way great question nikki and and say your first name too thanks nikki for stepping up yes i will okay so this is this okay so this is the hardest thing to do for many people right now what i'm about to tell you because it's so simple people always want to do more and because now we have a lot of training and a lot of presentations and a lot of different opinions and ideas of what we should do, there's more options for you. But the best option for multiplication that I'm finding, at least right now, and again, this is my personal view of what I see growing the most from Kim's volume. Kim's volume is compounding and we see everybody's volume of what people are doing that's working. So this is it, Nikki. You, in, you invite people just with an audio or text. It's the ATM, it's the invite people to the ATM system and follow up and enroll. And then once they enroll, you plug them into savvyrising.com and make sure they're onboarded into the Savvypreneur Rising Facebook group and start following unit number one. Okay, that's the quick big picture of what you do. To break it down in more detail, go to Savvypreneur Rising Facebook group and just go through one or two, maybe three of the, uh, in unit number one, preferably, you'll see all of the, the training on how to invite, how to follow up, and how to enroll. And I'll just, I'll just, listen, I know a lot of you are using the app and a lot of you are using the share codes and it's great. I would do that. But here's what I would tell you. I would spend 70 to 80% of your time, in my personal opinion, okay? And everybody has, you all have a different style in how you want to build. But if you have extremely limited time, I'm going to answer the question directly for Nikki. I would find business partners right now. And if you're finding getting customers and then upgrading them into the business is the best way to do that, then that's your method. But what Kim and I are doing, because it's so hot right now, is we're just we're looking for business partners and we're reaching out on Facebook and we're adding 10 new friends a day minimum for Kim and I it's 10 to 30 a day but let's say 10 minimum and I got this from Courtney nine one of the top exec new new up-and-coming leaders in the entire company she she says just get 10 new invites a day follow up with 10 new people a day and add 10 new friends on Facebook or wherever a day and then once you do that, you just keep doing it over and over. And if you have a little bit more, and all that could be done in around an hour if you're proficient and you don't overthink it. And that's what I see is the most compounding thing and not having to learn everything else of the company. If you're off trying to learn everything, it will create busyness and it won't, it'll get you off focus of what's really compounding and working. Yeah. Can I talk about the onboarding? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's just see if, if Nikki, do you want to expand yeah. on that or do you want me to go deeper on any topic before for Kim or I? We can break it down even more if you need it. It's on mute, Nikki. There we go. I think one thing that's well, in 48 hours, I have three people that are very interested. One, however, happens to be in Canada, so we have to wait on her. Yeah. Um, so it's working well. It's just which videos to send and how to get them invited so that way they've got some content, I think is my big thing. But so far, system's working. I mean, you know, 48 hours in, I can't complain one side or the other, right? Awesome. But, awesome, you know, 
Yeah. So I literally, I will do whatever it takes to use the, get people, even though it takes time, even though it can be, it could feel like a pain in the butt to walk, get people into the system, make sure they watch it, make sure they're tagged, make sure they get a message in the messenger box. All that takes a lot of time and it's frustrating. I don't want to say frustrating for me, but it's a pain. I don't, I'm, I'm an impatient person, but it's better than just throwing them a video at them real quick. Yes. Trust me. Videos work. It can work if they're on Instagram and they hate Facebook and they don't want to join. Fine. Send them a video. And what video to send? Guys, please hear me on this. I have 25 years of experience, everyday coaching for 10 years straight, six and seven figure earners. There's, there's no magic in the videos. I promise you. Now, some are better than others, but not that. So what I literally, the top units in Savvy Life, I would just pick one to three and don't overthink it and just get get like a broken record you could change it up based on once you get used to it you could change it up a little bit if you want to but just pick one of one to three videos and they will work if you want to use corporate great if you want to use him and I's or the one with me the big head in the car of why savvy's so hot people like that one like crazy just pick one i will say touching on you know facebook can be a bit glitchy. And so have some, some grit and patience with getting people into the group. And when you invite them, I always message them right afterwards and say, hey, I just sent you an invitation to Savvy Life. Let me know as soon as you join so I can tag you in a couple of videos or you know share some videos with you. But just in case the notification got buried, here's the link to the group. And I send them the URL. So it's right in front of them. And then with the tagging, <laughs> I don't know, sometimes it works on the computer, sometimes it won't, and I have to go to the phone, but you know. Say, wait, it, hang on, say that again, that was fast. With, when you're tagging people to the videos, and I don't know what, what, no, what's no, going no. on with Facebook, but if it doesn't work on your computer, then you have to go to your phone and try to tag. And yeah. sometimes it works on your phone and it doesn't work. Like it's, 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 it's just way. a Facebook it's, thing, but. Either one, it usually works one or the other way. Yeah. Yep. That's what we find too. So I always have, I, when I use the system, I'll have my computer in front of me. If you have a computer and I have my phone and I would recommend if you don't have a computer for some reason, if not now, maybe, but think about, I would, I like having both. It, it does help to have either two screens, a little bit more advanced, not necessary, but I like having either two screens or my computer open. And then I can just kind of look at the person's name and do it's a little bit faster, I find. All right, great question, Nikki. All right, who's next? And by the way, that was such a good question for yes. everybody that's brand new and even people that have been here for a little while. That's, that's perfect to start off with. All right, who's next? Hey guys, it's Amy Bell. Amy Bell! Congratulations Hello. on your continued... <laughs> Continuous success. Great job. And happy belated birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. So, hey, um, I want to know what some of your tips are once you've kind of like gotten a foundation of a team, not falling into management mode because not that they don't need support and all of those things. But when you're limited on time in general, and then you find that 80% of your time is, you know, management, um, then I, I mean, I was finding myself in bed for two hours <laughs> doing my own messaging at midnight last night. <laughs> so um, like where, where is the line of saying, hey guys, like here is the stuff. I love you. I'm here. But um, staying on track myself yeah that is such a good question well i, I, I gotta i'm gonna share a really really fat really fast story yeah. for literally 12 years of kim and i's life we were uh, um we were chronic babysitters and it's uh, and i'm just say for me personally it's a lot of control it's like i want to control everything and and i'm not saying this is like this for any of you but for me sometimes you want to control which means you want to take, you almost, you, it, it almost makes you take too much time for each person. And, um, and I became the bottleneck of duplication for literally 12 years. I was not a good duplicator in this industry. 
So the, so when I, when I lost everything and I was broken and I was depressed, I just said, I want to teach people how to create wealth, break rank, create duplication, but more importantly than all of that, do it while having freedom and a life. And so our culture, when people go through the new getting started and even the current getting started at Savvy Rising, Savvy Preneur Rising, the, they, we always talk about creating wealth while having a life. And what that means is if you want to be free, if, and let me just say this to all of you right now and Amy's team, let me say this to Amy's team and Amy White's team and Amy Bell's team and Kim and I's team and all of our teams right now. If you want to really create wealth while having a life, learn to do the simple things in our business. There, you don't have to learn all the details of the back office like some people think. I don't even know it, to be honest. I don't know about, I don't know everything about how the app works. I don't know. I, I don't. If I didn't have to train on the comp plan, I wouldn't learn the comp plan, to be honest. If I was all of you, I would not study the comp plan. You don't have to worry about structure, just go wide. So there's a lot of things that we think we need to know or your new people think they need to know. And all people really need to know in the beginning is the tip of the iceberg, not what's underneath the iceberg. In our industry, I promise it works this way. Traditional business people, traditional salespeople, traditional confident, people that come from other backgrounds, they don't understand this at first. And they might get a little bit frustrated with you. They might, okay, just telling you. They do get, it's just the way that it is. I promise you, if you wanna have a life and you wanna create duplication, you wanna teach your team to do what you need to be doing every day, which is spending at least up to 70% of your time doing what you did to get them involved in the business. And what it took you to get them involved in the business is so simple, it's unbelievable. It's what Nikki asked the question for. They, your team members need to be inviting people, keeping it simple. They need to be sending them through the ATM system. And there's videos that teach all this now. And they need to follow up and enroll people by either doing it themselves, which a lot of people are doing just fine, or maybe three-way Zooming in with you at that point. Like if they're at the tipping point, maybe the, then their prospect can three-way with you, Amy, or a leader or something like that possibly, but not necessary, by the way. People are enrolling so fast without that even. So what your new people need to do is what you're doing. Now for questions, Kim and I are methodical behind the scenes that you guys don't even know. We do a lot of group coaching like right here. So I would number one strategy to let go is teach them to do what you're doing and keep it simple as much as possible. And we'll, ed we'll edify that over and over and over so it'll become less and less burden on you and, and the leaders. So plug into the group training for your team like this right here. Number two, like they need to hear this message even if it's the recording. Number two, teach your team how to plug into corporate if it's a corporate question or plug into the vault. We, we, are, we create vault videos in Savvypreneur Rising and literally today we have someone full time taking everything in Savvypreneur Rising on a one page organized with an index. So if someone says, how do I do wear and share? They'll know where the video is in a unit or in our new Facebook hub. If they say this question and that question, it doesn't matter the question. If you guys are getting, if you leaders are getting questions over and over and over, let us know. I mean, we probably already know a lot of them. We want to write it down, do a video on it, label it, post it, and teach your team from this moment on as much as possible to go there. And as, as soon as we start teaching that more from our perspective, you don't have to be the bad cop and say, I'm not answering that, but we'll, we'll tell them, we'll start ingraining the culture because our culture is going to be making money, breaking rank, going after our goals and dreams. But really, to be honest, you've got to focus on the life part and the freedom part of that because, because most people that join you are so busy. They don't have time for all the other aspects of building a business. This is a really yeah. good question for me. Yeah, no, it's actually brilliant because the truth is, is I'm a control freak too. So welcome. <laughs> but, um, and I am 100% guilty of totally being fine being a hand holder, but I'm actually doing them a disservice because the truth is, is 90% of the people out there, A, aren't going to have the time to answer the questions or just won't and people will be felt left hanging and yep. I don't want them to bring people on their team and be stuck in the same situation so that was fantastic because like I said I'm doing them a disservice for building their teams if they don't know exactly where to direct their people
you know what I mean? So, um, that, that helps a lot. I need to just definitely be better about being like directing to the page, directing to the units. And I honestly think that that, that will help them in their own duplication. Yeah. I, I will say the little bit of caveat though, after 25 years, the little bit of caveat was savvy. Kim and I are probably breaking that rule. A little, well, Kim for sure. Me a little bit too. We are doing quick audios back and forth with people as much as we can because we are in pre-launch Customer support gets backed up. There are butt bumps. We're trying to smooth things out personally. So a lot of it isn't just control, Amy. A lot of it is good business sense to help people a little bit more than normal right now. We're doing it a little bit more than normal, which is, I'll tell you straight up, it's definitely hurting our recruiting. It, it is hurting our recruiting. And we know, like I was thinking about it this morning, if we, you got to keep the flow of recruiting going because we see the people that bring in new people, like, the duplication pops with that leg that, that month or the next month. It's just so, so amazing when you bring in new people. And not everybody goes to work, by the way. Some people don't pop with their duplication for a month or two or three or four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think when- Perfect. Thank one you. thing to do is have a quick conversation with your brand new person and say, um, you know, again, we are in pre-launch. There's gonna be things that come up. Um, here's when you need to come to me. And, and then here's when you direct them to like, let them know when, what kind of questions are best to come to you. Cause you don't do want to address, you want to retain the people that are coming in. Right. So, um, you know, say, Hey, if you come up with, you know, these kinds of things, please reach out to me. But if it's a company thing, something support can handle or go through the units in our team group. If you don't find your answer, then come to me, but just let them know your, your expectations and then tell them I'm going to teach you how to have a dependent are an independent team, not a dependent team on you. So you have freedom. So you're yeah. yeah, I mean, because I'm 100% there for them. There's absolutely no doubt, and that will never change. I just want them to be able to have that freedom and and know the system for their own teams as well. Can I say something? Yes. Of course, Amy. Okay. Hi, I'm Amy White. Um. I, it is so, all of us that are control freaks. I mean, you know, you want to, you want your team to do well. I mean, we want, I mean, it's not just about me, it's about your team. And so you do that. That's part of it. But I do think a lot of it's kind of like what Tom and Kim were saying is so about so much about communication with your team and really keeping that open. So like when I tell my team, I tell them over and, you know, with, as a leader, you've got to keep telling the same things over and over and over again. You can't just say it once. You've got to say it a lot of times. So they know that this is how you need to do it. And this is how they need to duplicate down. So like I tell all of my team, like even before this call, I was like, here's the link, but do not come to this call. If you've not done your IPA, like I say that this is the second that their IPA has to be first. And I say that 24 seven to my team. IPA is first, do not join a call unless you've done your IPA first. Because we can listen to calls all day long, we can listen to trainings all day long, but at the end of the day, we've not done anything to grow our business. Because right. a call is just more mindset. IPA is your income producing activity. I get that all day long, Ask people asking me that. But I think too, we've got to remember that as, if you only have a team of five, pretend like you have a team of 5,000. Yes. You're going to be able to answer all these questions with 5,000 on your team. Mm -hmm. So constantly when you sign someone up, so my people that I sign up that month, they're my first priority. My, my people that I sign up that month. So, I mean, I will text them every other day. How are you doing? How can I help? Do you need anything from me? I don't do that really with everybody else that's already joined. And because they know, because I've been cons consistently saying, this is where you go. So like when I sign them up, I take them through every page they need to be a part of. And I also tell them units is where they will see everything. So I go ahead from the very beginning and I'm constantly saying unit section, unit section, unit section. And so the more they start, they start realizing that. And then like, I've told my team, even if they have someone come to them and ask them, Hey, what do I, what, what's the answer to X, Y, and Z? I've told my people to say, what did you find in the unit section? Don't answer it for them. Because then they realize after a couple times, you're not gonna be their mom. They're so, big people and you can, so you keep 
sending them back. What did you find in the unit section? What did you find in the FAQs? What did you find here? And if they say, well, I haven't looked yet, I'll say, go look and then let me know if you can't find your answer and then I will help you. And so you're constantly sending people there and eventually you're probably not gonna be the first person that they reach out to because you're here to empower them. You're not their mom. None of us can, I mean, we, you know, I've got five kids at home and if I can go find the answer, anyone else can too. So we've got to train them to send them back to that unit section. Yep. Don't join any team call until you've done your IPA because then you're sitting there at midnight, like mm -hmm. me too, doing mm -hmm. your own activity. Uh -huh. yeah. And I get caught in this too, but I just think that it's just keep teaching teaching what did you find in the unit section what did you find here and then making the people that you signed that month your first priority anytime they need you you're immediately there because you want them to take it and after a little while they they know what they're doing also yep that's so good amy, amy i got a question perfect so good amy thank, thank you, you. Amy, amy bell amy White. thank you question for you power leader is this why do you think some people, not all people, why do you think some people ask so many questions over and over about everything? Like, how does this work, Amy, now? And then, and then they find another question. They just, they create a lot of questions. Do you know, do you, have you thought about why? Do you have an idea why they ask so many questions? Have you ever thought of that? I just think people want an answer fast. And I think that you train people on how, what you're going to do for them. And, and I've, I've, I went I, in my other company, I've been told I was an enabler and I am an enabler and I will, but I've also learned I cannot, that's what will eventually break you. Mm -hmm. It's what will totally break you because you will feel so, cause you're not growing anymore. And where the excitement is, is signing on new people. It's signing on new reps. And so you, you will eventually just cave. And so you've got to start now sending people to find their own answers. And I think, I, I will never forget one time someone saying, I want to call, I, I, I've got, I need this question right now, not, not with this, not with this group or people, my yeah. team, but they were like, I need, I need to know the answer now. I need to, I can't, I don't have time to look it up. And I'm like, well, why do I have time to look it up? No, you go find your answer. I mean, and, and I, but I would always tell them that I would say here, okay, here's the answer. Cause I already knew it. Cause I went and researched it, but I am doing them a disservice. And I think people just don't want to take the time to go find the answer. That's if it. you want my honest opinion. <laughs> yeah. And guys, listen to me. You, you have to be a little stronger if you want to grow as a leader because I'm high maintenance. I'm just going to tell you. When my upline didn't answer my question, I got butt hurt. I'm just telling you right now. I walked away like, oh, why didn't you just answer it? Why didn't you tell me to go check out the tool? Or I didn't like it. Right? But I learned. I learned how to, how to let go of that and get my answer you know, around him. And then if I absolutely need him, and then I, then I would ask him that question. And I'll tell you this too. I'm so sorry I'm saying so much, but I'm so passionate no, about this. This is good. You do not have to immediately answer your text when someone asks you a question. Yes. Because then they are literally sitting there waiting for your answer. It's okay to give an hour. Once again, it goes back to communication. Let your team know. I'm doing IPA in the morning. I will get to your questions later on in the day, but you go find it in units. You go find it on FAQs and we have a team threat. You can ask, but I sometimes will be able to answer faster than others, but don't sit and wait because I also have five kids. I've got a big team. I've got other people asking and I also have to do my own IPA. So I think it's also about not being immediately available is okay too. Absolutely. Totally agree. And I'm, I'm like, this is such a passionate conversation because it is the number one thing that burned us out. And we actually left the industry because we created such a dependent, we, we, we were all things, to all people and yes. we got burned out. So it this is what perfect. you're teaching right now so good, is so important for you moving fast. Yeah. If you want to create a massive momentous group. Yeah. So good. Um, the thing, I promise you, all of you, if you get overwhelmed or frustrated, I talked about this out of training this last week, it's most likely because you're taking on too much. Mm -hmm. You've got to be, I'll just say it for me. I know this, sound, look, I always wanted to be the man. I, 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 my ego always got me in trouble. I don't know how else to say that. Meaning I always want to be the leader. I always want to do, do it professional and big and sound good. 
And when I became, and I became the number one earner of our last business and built huge teams, we wanted to be the least on our team and the simplest when it comes to, we want to invite people so simple, everybody can do it. Learn to invite people so simple, everybody in your team can do it. And learn how to follow up and enroll so simple without overselling or talking that anybody can do it. And the more you keep it so simple and just focus on not, not trying to do everything and learn everything and do everything and teach everything, just keep doing that. So when your team does, well, what do I do when I'm frustrated? I'm struggling. It's not working. I go, I don't know. All I know is that I enrolled three people last week or two people or four people last month. I don't know. All I know is Lisa's doing it and all she's doing is this, her watch this video. You got to keep it so simple. You must stay leading by example. Mm. Trust me. You must stay doing. And even if you think everything's falling apart around you, it's not. That's the control issue in me. To think you think everybody's going to quit. You think everybody's not going to do anything because you're not handholding as much as you think you need to. Again, that's more of the control thing that might rear up. Now, of course, again, I'm not saying don't not help them, but it's better to show them what to do than teach them what to do in, in this industry. Is and someone, one, someone yeah. just said something to me, like people that are asking, I mean, all the things that people that are asking questions, it's a good thing. I'm not, like I tell my people to ask questions. Like that's what I want. I want to help them. But it's also good to not also just immediately give them the answer, like show them how they can find some of these answers. So that because this business is all about duplication, you want them to be able to show their people because if they aren't shown, then they're not going to feel confident enough to go grow a team too. So I'm all about helping my people like way too much. Yeah. But I think it's very important to show them where the answers are. So good. Big time. So good. Okay. We could do one more question. Thank you so much, Amy. And you jump any time. No, you're killing it. We, we, we want more, we want to, we want, we want more leaders like Amy to, to pop on here and share, especially when you're at your, your level already so fast. And Molly, I don't know if Molly's on here too. Well, I'm not at Amy's level, but I do want to say something really fast if you can hear me on that same thing. Can you hear me? Yeah. Who's this? Hi, it's Julie Walby. Sorry, I'm driving or I would unmute. Um, I want to say something on that. And it's, it's a lot too about how Lori brought me in or how Amy brought Lori in or how Amy's bringing her people in that I feel is helping Amy duplicate so super quickly. And then, you know, just staying in that, um, you know, high performing activities, you know, doing those daily activities every single day. And, you know, I, she does help with questions, but then putting them towards the unit. So like when I'm just now recruiting, I'm saying, okay, now I'm going to tag you and three videos under unit. And I'm going ahead and using those words before they get started. So then they will know exactly that that's how they turn around and then duplicate and starting in the recruiting process. I feel it's so super important to turn around and duplicate that. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to add that on what Amy was, Amy was her awesome nuggets. So thank you guys for doing this call. Very helpful. You bet, Julie. Hey, I want to let you guys know a quick vision. Kim and I do this for companies and we're doing it now, obviously for our team. We have a vault, a savvy vault. And, and again, we're writing down, we're, we're doing every question that your team has. Like how does, again, how does wear and share work? It's labeled with a number. So you say, go to unit five, video 64, or whatever number it is. And you'll have a table of context with every question there. So it's like, oh, it's right here, video 55. It'll be in two different places, really simple. Again, this is what Kim and I have been doing for 10 years. And we're, we have two people right now doing this today for us. Here's what I need from all of you, especially like Amy White and Amy Bell and some of the leaders that are really, really in the trenches. I would, we're going to need help from some of you doing those videos too, so we can get them done faster. And we'll, we'll be letting you know what, what we're going to do in that area here real soon. Okay, is there one more? One more. And, and remember, if you're frustrated by too many calls, don't be on too many calls, y'all, right? Don't, you don't have to be on too many calls. Pick one or two. If your time limit for a call or training is 20 minutes, jump off. But, but we don't mind sometimes going a little bit longer. Or, you know, and obviously we do different calls to hit different people that time frames throughout the week. So again, frustration is a choice that you take on. Our system is working. If company is working, but the company has massive bumps. Our team has up and coming bumps because we're new, mm -hmm. but, but it's working. It's still working. Everything is really still working. Again, uh, overall, it's working. How, let me say it, put it that way. 
Um, who has one more question? Let's do one more and then we're going to wrap up. It's Angelina here. I have Angelina. a question. Hi. Um, okay, so I've been doing my reach outs, my IPAs. Oh, hold on. Ah, sorry, declining, declining a phone call. Um, I've been doing them. Um, I myself, Lisa has been helping me with the follow up and the closing because I'm not familiar with it and a little uncomfortable. So I've been a little hesitant. Um, but what I'm finding is a lot of the people that I'm reaching out to trying to find, you know, not in common people. But then when I do get a hear back, oh, you're the 10th person that I've heard back from, from Savvy. And I'm like, yeah, it's amazing. Have you went and, you know, have you went and looked at that? And of course me, I'm like, well, obviously reach back to the person. Have you, you know, so how do you address those people? Cause there's so many of us, you know, getting the savvy out there right now. How do you address that? <laughs> <laughs> Kim and I are ultra sensitive because we're the leaders. If so, we're very sensitive. And if we know, like, oh, Angelina's following up, we'll say, oh my gosh, she's amazing, and edify the pants off of you. That's what we do. And you have to have that. Just it's more of a discernment thing than an, than a black and white thing. If I was in other companies and there's lots of competitors and lots of people following up, what I've learned also is sometimes they won't join until the third or fourth or 10th people calling them. So if you don't do your job and follow up with them, they wouldn't have enrolled with the past nine. Plus they were completely close. Like to, when I became a Christian for three years, everybody was after me and I was mean and not nice. And I was a jerk. I didn't want to be a Christian. I didn't want to go to your dumb church. But then the 10th invite, the 10th invite at a business seminar, is, is what changed my life. And if that 10th person wasn't persistent, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have become a Christian as an example. So you might be that 10th person. And to be honest, when companies are in momentum like us, they're going to have three or four or five, six people. And that's a blessing because the best people sometimes don't join until the 20th person hit them up because they get so frustrated. They're like, what is this darn savvy thing? That's a good thing for all of us. Because let me just tell you guys something. There's not, we're not even, we don't have saturation. If, if there was, if every single person was in my neighborhood with savvy, we still wouldn't be saturated in my neighborhood with savvy. There's less than I think four or 5,000 people in the entire company. Are people getting prospected? Maybe not perfectly. Yeah. But there's less than 5,000 people in, in the United States in savvy. And we haven't even gone to Canada yet. So just know that we're not saturated at all. Yeah, and, and real quick on that too, is that if you're, if you're using the Facebook, again, this is a Facebook thing, and you're adding people that they're recommending, it's usually because they're connected to someone you're connected to already. And yeah. so you do have to do a little bit of homework, look through who they're connected to. If you see I have them. been. And yep. then maybe, yeah. maybe join some communities that like, I've gone away from who re Facebook recommends Join yeah. some communities of some moms, fitness minded, you know, and, and friends and people in there, maybe a different tactic because you don't okay. want to waste your time reaching out to someone that's already been 10 times. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, I mean, it's actually pretty cool because they're like, Ooh, what are, what is this? You know, but yeah. I just don't want to, I don't know, like step on all of these feet that I've already been stepped on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, but like Tom said, maybe, yeah, I, maybe I, I, I'm the person you got to have a little discernment and you know if you know the person and you like you know that's your choice but if you've never heard of cindy smith that you know a lot of people don't follow up at all to be honest yeah yeah they, most people on and savvy people listen all of you girls all and few men follow up diligently trust me i love to be courted i might act like i'm being harsh on you and i'm not interested but sooner or later, I wear down and I'm like, okay, what is this company you're talking about or your product that's that great? I'm yeah. stubborn. I don't jump usually, right? Big leaders don't jump. So you got to follow up like crazy with some people creatively. I told Thank Kim, you. I told Kim the other day, if we took the time to prospect you, this is for follow-up. Kim and I have never done this to the level that we're doing it right now or about to. If I see... Angela Warda, if I see an Angelina, right? 
you know, we're going to, we got your face imprinted. We're going to take a picture, put it on our board. And we're not doing this literally, but like kind of. And we're going to, we're doing things like we, like we're going to lock onto you and already expect that you're the top rank of the company before you're even in the business. Because if we took the time to reach out to you that, and we may not know the timing's right, but it might be 10 years from now that we're going to do whatever it takes creatively to follow up with you until you get in. We're going to, if we have to send a card in the mail on your birthday every year, we're doing it. If we have to send a text once a week, we're doing it. If we send you an email, we're going to do it from multiple angles and love and connect and, and just let you know that we're not going anywhere. This thing is so good. You don't know it yet. It's better than any, when I'm working a company like Savvy, there's no other company in the world like ours. You got to feel that way. So you have the confidence. And that's why I'm going after my six and seven figure income earner friends and other companies, not saying that I don't expect them to change. I'm not trying to get them to change right away always but at least I'm telling them what I'm doing. So if they do, do, do transition, they know where to come, they know where to come to. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Do we have time for one more? Um, Courtney, Courtney, can you ask your question? Or are you you're probably no, running? She's a, it's a comment. She Go likes ahead. to ask the question to see if they've been in conversation with someone else already and ask how it went. It's great karma to send them back to someone if they've already been talking to someone. So I agree with that. Yeah. And, 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 ask and them, we'll ask them, you know, a lot of times, yeah, so you got to ask good questions, yes. right? Ask questions. Do you, you know, why didn't you get involved with them? What was it that you didn't see in them? Yeah. So you got to have, that's where the discernment comes in. But if you're kind of saying, well, yeah, they just spammed me or they just, you know, that I didn't, you know, I didn't like them or I didn't like the way they did it or I don't have a connection with them. So you got to have a little bit of discernment. And yes, if they, you can definitely, if you have the discernment to send them back, I mean, that's what Kim and I do most of the time, pretty much all the time, to be honest, because everybody, we want to, we are really careful in that area and we give up the, so that's what we do. But again, you guys are running your business. It's up to you how you want to do that. Yes. And also thank you, Lisa, for your comment. I mentioned if you join a group, maybe there's some people in there. You don't want to start talking about your company or your product inside of a group, but you can surely friend someone and you know start a conversation and get to know them that way 100%. outside do not do it in the group you will get yeah, picked do out do not do it in the group <laughs> yeah. okay so right. it's almost 11. okay we're gonna wrap it up yes great questions you guys thank you courtney yes thank you courtney great job Huge congratulations congratulations on executive advanced executive and Huge you got you got you got one tip for everybody here, Courtney. Um, well, not necessarily. I don't know. I don't know about a tip, but I have a fun little story. I don't know if Elise is on here right now, but we had a great interaction this morning where I saw that somebody had commented on a post of hers about she's a single mom and she's very nervous. And um, it also, I just think it goes a long way to edify for somebody else especially when it's not somebody you're getting paid on or somebody just out of like the kindness of your heart or, but I was able to, you know, remark on hers, Hey, this is exactly why you should do that. That's where I was. And we got in a three-way chat and, you know, we're able to, so I just think if you're looking out for everybody else, like, like you guys said, there's so many people, like if we all rise, we all rise together. And I think that it goes a long way to send somebody back no matter when like that. I, I gain respect from somebody. If they say, hey, I don't want to step on anybody else's toes. If you're already talking to somebody, you it's an amazing company. You should go back and talk to them. And then they'll often say, oh, I'm not. Like, I don't actually know the person that sent this message. And then it's free game. But I feel like it, it really goes a long way for our whole company to show that kind of um, integrity. I, I actually, agree. I like what Courtney said so better, to be honest, good. guys. I, yeah. I'm gonna, I like what Courtney said better. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> I didn't mean what? that. I just, I, just, no, I, like, I think it goes a long that's way. That's good. What, while we have you, can you share real quick, you, your team is growing, duplicating so fast. And I saw Amy say you're doing like 20 Zoom presentations a week. Uh, not me personally. And I have to give credit. That was Lauren Santigay and Amber who on my team who started those and they were seeing success just, you know, an, an old model was kind of a three-way call and we're duplicating too fast. So um, I actually came on here late because we did want it one at the same time, but just getting people on, it's actually, it's been great. It's either somebody that has a lot of prospects at once, or um, it's been 
I have one set up a day right now for our team. <laughs> Just one a day to plug into. It gives every, everybody's home right now. It gives everybody something to plug into each day to invite. And then I think what's been so awesome about the duplication aspect is that people see this as a platform that then they can turn around, get off of there and go talk to people and have them on one the next day. Mm -hmm. So it takes away sort of the um, fear of what do I do next and how do I do this? Because here they are on there and, and they're small enough. They're between like five and 25 people on and they're small enough. We get a good sense that we call on other, the leaders talk or like different people give different perspectives and keep it really community. Um, but it, yeah, it's been amazing how it's been working. I so love that. Good. Do you go live in your Facebook group that you guys have? Or do you just do uh, it? No, not very often. <laughs> I haven't been, I, oh, in the, the one, like, I don't think we have been going live much in that. Um, we probably need to more. These Zooms have been, to me, the vehicle that's been working for our team really well. Um, and so between that and the homeschooling and the running, like everything else, that's been what I've been able to get to. It's crazy. Um, Thank you, Courtney. How many miles are you running a day, a week? A week? Oh, I don't know, probably 20 something. Jeez, that's, that's crazy. That's math. that's math, I'm not good at the math. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of miles. Good, you, you get around with my daughter when, when you get caught in San Diego. All right, let's wrap it up. You ready, ready beautiful? Yeah. You good? Yep. Thank you so much, Courtney. All right, everybody, you guys have a blessed day. Have a great day, Tom. And uh, we'll put an announcement out for the accountability today, right? And then go check the unit. Every single one of you focus on going to the leadership retreat. Every, get to 2,500 in volume is your first goal. Yep. Okay, it's very simple to do when you get the process rolling. And yeah. that should be... That should be your goal no matter what, whether it's to be able to go to a retreat or just to do that in, you know, a certain amount of days, 30 days or 15 days. I feel that should be your goal no matter what. Absolutely. 100%. As a starting out person. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So a starting out person, your goal should be 2,500. I think that's a great benchmark for people that are really in a zone 5,000 your first month has been very doable for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, and don't ever feel guilty or bad if you don't, but that should be a benchmark of expectation that's possible is 2,500 to 5,000. And then if you're a leader, you can do over 10,000. There's a lot of leaders that are, are really focused that, that can do 10,000. Your, your very first month is very normal here too. And I wanted to, to wrap up by letting you know, we have something we've been working on that we're really excited about launching that is going to help with getting your brand new people launched and duplicating and onboarded. So it should be ready. Um, early this week is a team onboarding system where it just walks them through step one and it's just a short video. And it's the only thing they have to focus on. Then that step two, right? And it'll just walk them through the whole thing. Yeah. So we're really excited to launch that. It's gonna be really helpful for that area of onboarding your team members. It's good. Yeah, so right now everything's under unit number one though. So there's nothing yep. missing by the way. Yes. Just so y'all know, it's all there. It's just not perfect and pretty yet, but it works just fine. All right, you guys have a blessed day. All right, love you guys. Happy Monday, let's have crush great, it out. Have a great week. Bye-bye everybody. Bye. Bye, thank you. Thanks Barbara. If y'all wanna say goodbye, just love to see your face and or hear your voice at least. Bye, Bella. Bye. Bye. See you, Bella's Bye. brother. Thank you, Courtney. Bye. Everybody. Bye. See you, everybody. Do one. <laughs> hey, Nikki. See you, Nikki. Bye, Sherry. Bye. You. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Yes, let's talk, Bye. Bree. I'm going to Zoom, Zoom. Bye, okay. Tom. Bye, Tom. Welcome to the team, Bree. Thank you. You getting ready to rock today, huh? Yes. Good. You're working with a champion. I can't wait. Hi, Kim. Hi. Good to see you. So good to see you. You too. You too. All right. So we're going to hop on a, on a Yeah, table. you want to do a Zoom right now, Bree? Sure. Get rocking. Love you guys. Do you have Mimi's code by any chance? Mimi's on here, I think. <laughs> Read your code. Hey, Mimi, can you jump on a Zoom too? Let me know. Let me see if she's still here. She I'll text her. Text her and see if she can pop on a Zoom. I'll send you a link if you could. I'll send you both a link right now, okay? Okay, thank you. You betcha. All right, bye-bye. Bye, everyone.